we have Mo Ivory brightening us up uh, with bright yellow. Yes, thank you. <laughs> thank you for being here. So ideal going to speak at McNair was wonderful, and uh, I think that he gave a great speech. But I think it's really not about speeches, and it's not about appearances. It's about getting in and doing the things that really need to happen, uh, lowering the uh, the rate of teachers to students, all the things, resources, putting money where you really need it. The only way kids are going to uh, graduate from high school is if they have the skills to take the exams, the skills to move forward and have the resources to get jobs after. Because there so are white true. applicants, that means that they're qualified. I mean, you don't say that when a business has all white um, employees and you say, well, there are black applicants, they still don't get the job. So just because there are white applicants doesn't mean that they should automatically so you're, you're get the job. You're defending uh, this, this culture then? No, I'm saying that it works both ways. I'm saying I don't think there's a problem with having a government entity that has a percentage of workers that are one race over a p another percentage because it's in America, that's how it's always well, been. It's Anything that's discriminatory is always said not to have been intended to be discriminatory. Listen, in 191 years of history of Fayette County, there has never been an African-American commissioner. The fact that this lawsuit just came to be in 2011 is astounding to me. So, Mo, what kind of jury you know, are they looking for? Would the, would the prosecution be looking for? So the prosecution is looking for a juror, any six jurors that can um, relate to Trayvon Martin, who have a feeling that racial profiling in America is no good, that there is a problem with race relations as it relates to black men, and just the overall police agitation and um, just the way things, you know, seem in America with race, which is going to really bring the conversation of race relations that everybody really wants to have, but we never do have it. Um, I think it's just, it's going to be it's going to be heartbreaking. Mm. It's going to, it's just a very hard trial mm. to watch, but I think it's going to bring those issues of race mm. relations in America, racial profiling, dealing with the police to a heightened mm. level that we have not seen as of yet. Does it matter the makeup of the jury? Well, sure. Um, actually, I mean, I think it does matter the uh, makeup of the jury, but I think there's a general story that they're going to tell that's always been the same, and that is that Trayvon, a 17-year-old, just went out to get a drink and a snack and ended up dead. But story. with five women, I think it needs to be descriptive because we're about details, right? We like long conversations. Six, sure. yeah. 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 Sure. Six women. We like, mm -hmm. wait, tell me more. Wait, he was, oh, mm -hmm. wait, I didn't know that. So I think it's going to be very important for it to be descriptive and mm -hmm. to really bring, and listen, argumentative is just about tone. Yeah. Right? So they just have to be careful. It's not necessarily what you say, uh -huh. but how you say it. I was so um, amazed how everybody's saying, what a loss for the prosecution. <laughs> you know, we talk about it all the time. That's not really a loss for the prosecution in the sense that now they have the most crucial testimony about that call from his mother. It is going to be so important. You think for sure. Oh. Absolutely. The mother of Trayvon. It's a very different impact to hear a child crying out for help that's now dead than for somebody, a cousin, a brother, even George Zimmerman's mother to say, that's my child's voice. Well, yeah, and your child is sitting right there. Very different for a jury of five mothers, mm -hmm. which I think is a win for the prosecution. Six women here said yes, she proved it. Mm -hmm. What will those uh, six women say? We don't know. The sir, the sir, the sir. Mm -hmm. What does that do? It just says that now she was told it didn't come off good. Mm -hmm. Listen, the best thing about her was the authenticity of who mm -hmm. she was, and she showed up to be herself mm -hmm. to do one thing, mm -hmm. to tell the facts about what happened that night and the phone call. That is all that matters. Mm -hmm. Representing the prosecution for After Dark tonight, Radio host and attorney Mo Ivory. Okay, Mo Ivory, you have the question. You have 15 seconds. Go. Exactly, Ryan. How can anybody believe that George Zimmerman was the one screaming for help when he was the one in the superior position? Listen, Trayvon was the victim. You can't go from being the aggressor to the victim all of a sudden. Even if you believe racial profiling isn't wrong, that doesn't mean you're racist. Mo, do you agree with that one? If you don't think racially profiling somebody is wrong, then you are absolutely a racist. Racial profiling is going after somebody just because of their race. That makes you a racist. Thing well, that who's the problem, to say his body wasn't dragged over Here, to this here's, area here's and problem. dropped over and guess here what? to die? Guess what? Also, guess what? Guess what? Guess what? It had to do with the fact that he was a young black man wearing a hood, walking around, and this wannabe cop who was Does that taking mean it. Up? Come on, come on. There would be that. very, very, just, a very different no situation if you were all, walking so around with a hood. Let's, let's be real about what it is that we are dealing with here. And it is very true that he made, he said expletives when he called. He said that he. 
thought this kid was on drugs. He knew nothing. And he was far away. Trayvon was far away when George Zimmerman was making these assertions, all based on what he thought a young 17-year-old black kid looks like, acts like, believes in, does, is on drugs See, I, in I a neighborhood. His, his, you know, no, that's what drug it was. Usage. Her credibility has to be looked at in its totality. So yes, she's talking here about him saying these things in his own voice, but it has to go to the whole of her. And to me, this just makes her whole testimony more credible. I loved her. I think she was absolutely, well, specifically wow. important. Well, let me <laughs> First of all, if you have two people, one armed and one unarmed, who do you think is going to be the person most likely to yell out for help? Is it going to be the person who can reach in and take out their gun? Or is it going to be the person that can't do anything because they're being constantly attacked? And Mo Ivory, yes. host of the Mo Ivory Show. So are we just too sensitive as a society? Too easily we, offended? Listen, we could be easily offended as a society, and I think sometimes we are. We, uh, we quickly say it's racism or something like that. But listen, the Republican Party says they are making a concerted effort to reach out to a specific group, including Hispanics and African Americans. And then you turn around and you call that very group one of the most insulting comments you ever could. I believe nothing the GOP says ever.